Hello everybody, I'm State Senator Ed McBroom and this is March's Reading Month and I can't make it to every school in the district but I want to share with you one of my favorite books, a book that was given to me when I was very little, Johnny Tractor and His Pals, especially appropriate book for a dairy farmer in the UP. The moon and the stars were bright. It was night on the Fowler farm. The lights in Farmer Fowler's house shone cheerfully. The barnyard and the fields were quiet. All the cows and pigs and chickens were fast asleep. But behind the barn, Farmer Fowler's farm machines were wide awake. They have a special language of their own, just like the trees and the flowers do. Johnny Tractor stood in the middle. He was their leader because he was the tractor. He was sure he was the most important machine on the farm. And he knew he looked handsome in his shiny green and yellow coat and big black rubber tires. Perry Plow was hitched behind Johnny Tractor. Early tomorrow morning, Farmer Fowler would come for them. Tomorrow will be the day to plow the field by the creek. Farmer Fowler wants a big wheat crop from that field this year, said Perry. Dicky Disc growled. He had a deep voice. That field is very dry, Perry. Farmer Fowler will use you to plow it, but then he'll use me to cut up the clods of dirt. Johnny Tractor scolded Dicky Disc. Stop acting so proud. Farmer Fowler also uses Henry Harrow to make the field smooth. This pleased Henry Harrow. He liked to get special attention from Johnny Tractor. Then Henry Harrow spoke. His voice was soft and gentle, just like his work in the fields. Well, sometimes Farmer Fowler does use me too, Henry said as he flipped a speck of dirt off of one of his many spikes. I'm always ready to do my part. I'm always ready to do my part too, spoke up Danny Drill. I plant the seeds for Farmer Fowler. I plant them just right so they'll grow quickly and evenly. And I put fertilizer in the soil so the plants will have plenty of food. Sometimes I think I'm as important as Johnny Tractor. Before Johnny could say a word, Chucky Cultivator muttered, I'm important too. I get rid of the bad weeds that would keep the crops from growing. Why, if it weren't for me, Farmer Fowler's fields would be full of weeds instead of corn, beans, and potatoes. All the machines nodded and agreed. Yes, Chucky, you are very valuable. Johnny Tractor couldn't sit still another minute. He turned around so fast he made Perry Plow dizzy. Ha! What would you do without me, Chucky? I pull you over the fields, you know, boasted Johnny as he spun his steering wheel. Johnny Tractor stuck out his chest and strutted around the group. The truth is, I have to help all of you. I pull Mickey Mower and Bobby Baylor through the hayfields, and my big muscles turn Gary Grinder to make feed for the pigs, cows, and chickens. Why, I'm the most important of all. Shh! Scolded Big Clancy Combine, looking down his long green nose at Johnny. You'll wake up the rooster. And besides, you're not so important. I don't need you at all. I do all my work by myself. I have my own engine. So there. Johnny Tractor couldn't think of any answer, so he yawned and pretended he was going to sleep. He knew Clancy Combine really didn't need him. Johnny began to feel very ashamed of the way he'd acted. He said, well, I guess Farmer Fowler couldn't get along without any of us. He really needs all of us in some way. All the other machines agreed with Johnny Tractor. You'd better get some rest now if you're going to keep up with me tomorrow, Johnny added in a kind voice as he settled his wheels firmly on the ground and sighed. Before long, the sun would chase the moon from the sky and the rooster would wake them all up with his cock a doo do Tonight, they must rest just as Farmer Fowler and his family were doing. Tomorrow, they must be ready to work hard together. And soon, they were all fast asleep. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story, Johnny Tractor and His Pals. And remember just how wonderful it is to be able to read. Find the book that's right for you. You like encyclopedias, you like stories, you like biographies, you like magazines about hunting. There is so much out there to read. If you're not sure you like it, it's just because you haven't found the right book yet. So enjoy March's Reading Month and explore reading. And uh, thanks for listening to my story today.